guys, welcome back to my channel. Okay, so today's video is going to be a makeup tutorial, well, just the eyes, using the Makeup Geek collaboration palette with Manny MUA. So if you have it, make sure you tag along. It's gonna be a talk through. It's gonna be a little longer because I just focused on the eye. Uh, the foundation portion is in another video. This I'm doing a first impressions video for Makeup Forever HD foundation. Yes, I know I'm late on that, but anyway, if you're interested in that video on the foundation part, the link to that video will be in the information bar. And yeah, so if you are ready, I think I'm ready. Want to see how I achieved this cranberry silvery, I guess, look with a liner. Catch that liner, okay? <laughs> yes. You know what you gotta do? You gotta keep on watching. Hey guys. Okay, so we're gonna be doing a makeup look today, just the eyes. Um, I am doing a uh, first impressions of the Makeup Forever HD foundation and the stick as well as the new formula in the liquid. But today we're going to be doing a look with the um, Manny MUA uh, Makeup Geek collaboration palette. I'm sure everyone and their mom has heard about this unless you've been living under a rock. Hopefully you haven't unless it's a very nice rock. <laughs> this is what the palette looks like. Um, so let me just go ahead and swatch for you. How about that? Um, so the first top three are uh, Artemis. Beaches and Cream, and Luna, okay? So Artemis, Beaches and Cream, and Luna. Artemis, Beaches and Cream, and Luna, okay? Very nice. That's the first row, top row. Please excuse the fan. It's hot up here and I can't stand it, okay? <laughs> so, ooh, yeah, I'm getting old. All right, so the second row is Cosmopolitan, Sora, and Frappe, okay? So, Cosmopolitan, Sora, and Frappe. And we'll see how those look. Cosmopolitan, Sora, and Frappe. Those is that's how those look. Really pretty, really pretty. Okay, so and the last row at the bottom, this is Insomnia. This reminds me of Blue Black Pigment from MAC. This is Mars and this is Aphrodite. Okay, so Insomnia, Mars, and Aphrodite. One swipe, amazing, like ridiculous. Ridiculous color payoff, love it. Okay, awesome. Okay, so to get started, I'm going to um, use Soft Ochre Paint Pot as my eyeshadow base. I'm gonna go in with that with just a little, I think it's a Sephora brush. And I did have some liner on, but I'm gonna go over it, okay? Cause I'm just lazy and trifling like that right now. <laughs> okay, excuse me, okay, okay. <laughs> All right, so you're just gonna blend the base in. And I'm gonna carry this up a little high underneath my brow bone. Okay, so what I'm gonna do um, initially, I am gonna use as many colors in the Manny palette as I can, but there are just certain colors that I like to form the base or the foundation of my eyes, okay? So the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use an ink lot. I'm gonna go in with three different size blending brushes, okay? This is the Ink Lot 6SS, this is the MAC 224, and this is the MAC 217. Okay, great blending brush set right here, all right? So I'm gonna take the Ink Lot 6SS, and I'm doing a little bit more of explaining because we're only doing eyes today, and I'm gonna go in with Beaches and Cream. Beaches and Cream is not really gonna show up on me. However, I think when I put it down as that first beige color, it'll help everything else blend. So I'm gonna put Beaches and Cream over the entire eye. Kinda like we're setting the um, Soft Ochre Paint Pot, but not really, because Soft Ochre Paint Pot, you know, dries from wet to cream, wet to powder, cream to powder, cream to powder, okay? 
So that's what we're doing right there. Okay, the next color we're gonna go in with is my usual transition color, and this is Mac Soft Brown. This is usually, no, sorry, this is Makeup Geek Creme Brulee. Creme Brulee, it's a, it's a dupe for Mac Soft Brown. So Creme Brulee, I'm gonna take that, I'm gonna use the Mac 224 brush, and I am going to go into, start working up and building my crease with this one, okay? So I'm gonna deposit the majority of the color on the outside, and then I'm gonna work that over onto the inside. Okay, next I'm gonna go in with Makeup Geeks Cocoa Bear, Makeup Geeks Cocoa Bear. I'm gonna still use the 224, and I'm gonna go in with this, and now I'm gonna start creating a very nice, rusty orange halo right here i'm not going to do the um halo eyes you know when you have the inner and outer corner i kind of want an even wash of this color all the way across from inner from outer to inner corner okay this is not a makeup geek color but i also use this color to transition a lot it is the mac pro longwear color uninterrupted absolutely love this I'm gonna go in with a 217 because what I want to do I want to use this color to, to deepen up the crease um, but I'm gonna I'm gonna kind of do it high so even though it's the crease is like the very top of the crease if you will okay and I'm just going to wash this color kind of like blending out the top of that going to use this color to just blend out the top and it just adds like such a pretty pretty definition when it comes to blending your colors especially if you're using warm colors it's just so pretty okay I'm going to go in with three colors I know it's crazy but I'm gonna go in with three okay I'm gonna go in with the first color is Artemis right here I'm gonna go in with Artemis And then I'm gonna go in with Luna. And then I'm gonna go in with Cosmopolitan. Okay, and then what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go back in with the Inglot 6SS, and I'm gonna add, and I mean just a hint of this Mars color right here. I'm just dabbing it in there, and I'm going to sweep this and blend out the top part. Just like that. I'm liking it so far. I'm liking it. Okay, so I want the the Mars a little deeper. I'm gonna get the 224. I'm still gonna just lightly dab just the tip of that brush in there. Except this time, I'm gonna start in the middle and then work my way out on both sides. Okay, so to highlight the brow bone, I'm gonna go in with Max NC35 Studio Fix. Um, I can't show you that because it's a travesty what that little thing looks like, okay? <laughs> but I do have it on the brush. Um, and I'm just going to define my brow. And then I'm gonna take a, um, a 
a shader brush for cream. Blend that down. Then what I'm going to do, I'm going to go back in this color right here, uninterrupted, 217, and we're going to blend that. Like that. That's pretty much the eye. Okay, so I finished up the eye pretty much. I'm thinking about putting a little bit of a highlight. Um, I do want you to know that I did use Carefree a little bit in the brow bone um, right there. I hope y'all can see that. And I'm thinking about putting a little bit in the uh, tear duct. Just a little bit. Just a little, just a little, yes. Just like that. Okay, okay. Um, I think I'm going to, I think I'm gonna to try to find blankety and I'm gonna go with more of a pinky nude lip, I'm thinking. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do. Um, the lashes are the uh, Ardell Natural Multi-Pack 101 Demi Black. I really like these. It's like a little bit of oomph without too much oomph, okay? All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with a limited edition uh, lipstick as the Amplify Cream in Altered Beige, I think. Y'all know I got a problem seeing. Let me take this off. I'm gonna take my current lipstick off, okay? Sorry, I'm prepared. Okay. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna go in with Alter Beige. It's like a creamy base, okay? And then what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go in with this, and I don't know what this is. It's a pink nude. I just wanna tone it down just a little bit. I'm putting it over that Alter Beige. Okay, then I'm going to go in with Chestnut Lip Liner by from MAC. Just molding it and then a little bit of it in my hand. I don't see it right now. A little bit of Oyster Girl from MAC. Right in the center. <laughs> I can't touch my face because I am doing a first impressions video for the Makeup Forever HD foundation. So I can't really touch up my face. Um, and I've already touched it up prior to this after six hours. So it is what it is. There, a little bit of excess off, okay. So that's it, I'm gonna come in just a little close for the eyes, just a little bit. These are the eyes. Makeup Geek Manny MUA palette. Love it. You can put a little wing in there, y'all. Mm -hmm. Little wing. What? Little glow. What? <laughs> oh, quit playing with you. This is the final look. I like it. Birthday today.
I hope y'all like it too. I'm just profiling, styling the profiling right now, okay? Okay. With it. But anyways, I'm rambling. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you so much for joining me for the eye makeup as well. Um, I did do a tutorial on the eyes. Um, Manny MUA, collaboration with Makeup Geek. Absolutely love him. Um, be sure to check that out as well. I will leave a link in this video as well as the um, foundation video and the makeup eye makeup video so that you guys can uh, check both of the both of these videos out depending on which one you are watching so this will be I'm gonna use the same outro <laughs> for both videos it's just easier that way all right you guys thank you so much for joining me thank you so much for your support and thank you so much for another year on YouTube as always take care stay safe God bless and I will see you guys in the next video hopefully be sure to thumbs up share and like thanks no, can you say like anymore? I don't know. Be sure to thumbs up and share. <laughs> okay, guys. Bye. But I'm loving the glam core life. Like, <laughs> I'm loving it. Like, oh my gosh. Best birthday gift ever. I have, like, the best hubby ever. Love you, babe. Okay, guys. So, I've had the makeup, makeup forever on. And it's been... Did I leave my phone? Oh, my phone is charging. But it's been about six hours. About six hours. And um, I...